Let's we begin tonight with a study that's gotten some national attention that came from some researchers here at UTC. The study takes a close look at atheists and found many surprises. New Channel 9's Kelsey Bagwell joins us now with more on that study. Kelsey. A psychology professor and students set out to prove there's more than one way to not believe in God. In fact, they found six. The study has garnered worldwide attention. Today in Chattanooga, I found it's receiving both praise and criticism. Professor Christopher Silver and Thomas Coleman set out to prove that non-believers is no longer a sufficient term to describe people who don't believe in God. We did a study of non-belief, meaning that while we, we speak in terms of, of people who may call themselves atheists or agnostics, we studied non-belief as an overall perspective. What they found? Six different types of atheism based on 59 interviews conducted with people nationwide who don't believe in a higher power. Each of those types has different ways they interact with the world around them, they have different ways they engage people socially, they have particular psychological characteristics for each of the types. Participants explained their views, attitude, and rituals, or lack thereof, and were put into six different categories. Silver and Coleman said many participants were embarrassed to admit their lack of belief. But that theme of being concerned that someone might know, someone might figure out that you don't believe in God, was uh, something shared by several of our participants. I spoke with one atheist who says the study is crucial for understanding alternate beliefs and they aren't all the same. I think that atheism is a lot like Christianity and that there are many different versions of it and the way people believe or don't believe. One self-proclaimed Christian is intrigued by the idea of six different legs of atheism. As a Christian, I mean, it's a possibility. I mean, look at how many types of Christianity there are. There's at least three main types of Christianity. So, I mean, it's a possibility. However, the research struck a chord with one professed Christian who says it defies the principles the United States was built upon. I personally do not care for it. Uh, I don't think they should be spending their time on that. Um, I think it'd be better to spend their time on uh, the original creation of the United States, uh, going back to the Declaration of Independence or the Constitution, uh, seeing why and how that was created, which was based on Christianity. The researchers spent little department money on the project, funding it primarily out of pocket. Their next step is to finalize research and publish their findings in a book. Visit our website, newschannel9.com, for more information on the different types of atheism. Latricia, back to you. Thanks, Kelsey.